Okay, so I probably should have made this video like a while ago. Sorry for me looking bogus. Um, I actually just woke up. Uh, but yeah, um, I never got around to like showing it. Now, why would they do this? Why, why would they do that? Um, I should have made this video a while ago because like I had finished the stuff, but I never got around to like making the video that shows me being done. It'd always be like right before it gets done. Okay, I stop recording. Like, yeah, but give me a second, guys, so I can. So, two things. Um, I never really got around to showing the final product. I never really got around to showing the final product for the rear end and the uh, the rear end and the manual pedal install. Um, I honestly could make a video on the manual pedal to do the install because there's a lot to it um, mainly because I have to be underneath the dash and it's just a lot being underneath there period so yeah um, I'll show you guys that now I was thinking about doing this in a one cut video I might still do it but whatever so I think I do the the rear end first because like you can see that a little bit better so the new rear end is in there it is installed painted and everything put the new lines on there bent them to it they all are hooked up I don't have the rear calipers on for the disc brakes um, because they don't fit on these wheels these wheels are for are like 15s and those calipers, like, I'm pretty sure I need, like, 16s at least. So, yeah, those aren't going to fit. So, until I get some different wheels, I can't put the calipers on. But that means I can do burnouts with like that. Um, yeah, I still got to upgrade the suspension, though. So, like, rear, rear um, pan hard bar uh, kit from UMI, which basically drops a rear pad hard bar down upgraded control arms i got the stock ones on there as you can see right there it's got sway bars on it from uh, irock rear end which is what this rear end is um i'm trying to think what else and that's really about it um and i need to get new lug nuts but i have i wire brushed these things down and i ran them over i ran a lug nuts on them to knock off whatever rust is still on there and I anti-seized it that way it doesn't rust and it don't seize up um, yeah and I need my lug nuts for the front as well as you can see I'm missing some like two but that's because I took one from here and put them on the back um, and I need to convert that to disc brakes now for the pedal swap for one I need to change out this um, slave cylinder for the brakes. Upgrade that to a wheelwood one with a upgraded proportioning valve because I am going on um, disc brakes all the way around. I have to. So as you can see here, this is the clutch cylinder, or I'm not sorry, not cylinder, reservoir uh, for the clutch fluid. Here is the line for the clutch that goes all the way to the throw out bearing goes in it and then it will come out out the bleed um, the bleed line um, let me see if you guys can see this so so right here is the clutch master cylinder I don't know if you guys can see that you guys see that I'm pretty sure yeah, right there, the silver part is the clutch master cylinder mounted up to the firewall. Now, with that, um, there are going to be three holes, and this is in every car. There's always, whether it's an automatic car, as long as there's a manual version of the car, it's always going to have two holes for the bolt and a hole for the rod on the firewall because they don't change the firewalls. They just block them off. If you look down there... Okay, 
it comes through the floor or the firewall down here as you can see oh maybe not in front of that that won't hold on hold on oh bear with me now so as you can see through there and then it comes through here this hole is actually trimmed back to fit the rod properly but first i drilled the holes for the two bolts I bolt it in. I see where I have to trim the firewall back and I trim it back to get the rod through. This is a double adjustable. Second, this is a double adjustable um, pedal assembly for the rod on the clutch. As you can see, it goes up and connects to the pedal and the clutch pedal. So on third gens, you actually, what you have to do is, and the easiest way to do it, for one, take out the seats. This has electric seats. And yes, the electric seats do work. I just don't have it plugged in right now. Um, you gotta take out the seats. That way you can get underneath the dash properly and not be like me and try to get underneath the dash from right here. Um, there's a panel. There's gonna be panels along here that you gotta drop off on screw. There's gonna be panels right uh, underneath here you gotta pop off. Um, And then underneath here, there's five bolts that connect to the old brake pedal assembly. I'll go grab that for you guys right now. Okay, I'm sorry. So this is the pedal for the automatic assembly. As you can see, it's your standard um, brake pedal with the i think this one is cruise control and this one is your um this is this one is for your uh your brake pedal and light if i'm not mistaken or it's this one i don't i think this one is for your brake light either way whichever it goes it's brake light at your cruise control as you can see there's four holes that connect to the master cylinder back there with it's a nylon nut that's a 15 millimeter and then there's going to be a top bolt hole that tops under that bolts in underneath the dash um right underneath behind above the behind above the steering column a little bit um that not, not right underneath the steering column but like to the side this actually is going to be in there like this. It's going to be in the dash underneath like this and this will basically bolt in like this. It's either like this or it's like this underneath. I don't remember. Either way it goes. When you put the new pedal on, um, there's the there's a bracket that goes underneath that's basically a recreation of this but it's like reinforced because it's in a L-shaped bracket with the triangle. The little triangle piece is gonna hit on the back of this piece. So it, you're not gonna be able to run that with this in there. So either you have an option to notch it, which I don't recommend to do because you um, basically jeopardize the structural integrity of that top bracket, or you take this out. The way to take this out is oh and this is only for the type of clutch pedal i have so i'm pretty sure you get some oem fourth gen camaro pedals for or a for t56 or you get a regular t5 manual pedals you will be able to still run this in the car without having to take this out but if you get hawks performance upgraded t56 conversion clutch pedal assembly for the third gen Camaro, and it's also works on the fourth gen. If you get that pedal assembly, you will have to take this out or cut it. Um, I would probably, if you want to keep this in, I would probably just cut this area where it hits on the little notch piece and throw it back in there. 
but you'll be doing a lot of throwing, cutting, throwing it back in, cutting, throwing it back in, seeing what works. So what I had to do was, I had to take out the dash pad, um, and then I had to unbolt the dash from underneath. There's two bolts right here. It's a bolt right underneath here somewhere. I don't remember where. Let me get the flashlight. There's a bolt underneath there, that one. And there's the same one on the opposite side, on the passenger side. Um, and then there's more things you gotta unbolt, like uh, the ECU and stuff like that. And you gotta unbolt the steering column which is a 13 I believe drop the steering column down <laughs> Ooh. excuse me you're gonna drop the dash down and then this is just going to be in there now you can press this down and slip it out enough you have enough space where you don't have to completely drop the dash down where you can just press this down off these two bolt holes this is on a stud press this down and then it'll slip out like that. So like, it's sitting there like this. I w only thing I did was press it down a little bit, probably about an inch or so, and then slipped it out, or slipped it back, and then out um, over the steering column, past the steering column. That way this can get out. Once then, I put the dash back in, dash pad went back on, uncracked by the way. This is my second car with uncracked dash pad which is very, very unlikely. This is the original dash pad from 1985. <coughs> but um, you do that and then you can put your pedals in. So I ran into a problem where my tuck bracket hold did not line up. So I basically had to, um, I basically had to, see there you go it's up there that this bracket right here is what i'm talking about it's gonna hit on this bracket hole and that little piece i showed you goes on to this this stud right here which is right by the steering column as you can see that's where the steering column mounts up but it's gonna hit that this l piece right here i'm pointing at i'll put an arrow to it um that's what's gonna hit on it this is the bolt hole that bolts up behind it on the original pedal. And all I did was I took the proper size bolt. Um, it's a shorter bolt. I forgot which one it is. I think I still got the package. And I took two washers and put it on there. That way it's on there tight. It's not gonna move. It's strength, it's strengthened. Um, I would like to take new lock nuts, nylon lock nuts on there, which are right there. Those little green ones things right there um, I would like to take those and put get some new ones that way I know they're not gonna come out but yeah that's what you have to do to put it in and then you have a retainer clip by the way I should say because what you're gonna have to do to get this pedal assembly out and get that one in is you have to and also to get the clutch pedal in or clutch master cylinder in you have to move this forward and over move this out you have to jiggle this out of the firewall move it over to the side and at that point you put your clutch pedal in and I would also recommend um, getting a set of bolts that could and some washers that are bolts in behind right here in replacement of this right here that way you can hold the uh, pedals in and you can get ready to mock up and put in your clutch master cylinder that will help um, what else did I do once I had the clutch master cylinder in uh, I put the brake master cylinder or brake uh, power brake assembly I'm sorry I'm so lost right now talk so much power brake assembly in you have to go to the little adjustable rod that's on there um that rod i would recommend as you're installing it like putting it in put it in with the rod already on um you get a set of instructions from hawks motorsports to tell you how to put it in 
these right here. And uh, I can take a copy. I'm pretty sure Hawks has a copy on their website. And I can... Okay, so right here, we have found that it's easier. Here, let me see. Here. We have found that it was... Oh, we have found that it was easier to install the cylinder with the turnbuckle and heim joint removed. Uh, it can be threaded onto the cylinder rod once the cylinder is installed. Be sure to thread it all the way down so that the adjustment can be made from the shortest length possible. That's what I'm talking about when I say um, once you install it, you want to make sure you install it all the way down the thread. Make sure you put anises on it. That way it does not seize up on you and you can adjust the pedal. Other than that, if you can't adjust the pedal, you will not be able to adjust where the... Um, basically, if you can't adjust the pedal where it is, either you have no clutch or you have clutch grabbing all the time. Simple as well. I can put that. Um, but yeah, adjust the pedal all the way down. And then, as you can see, damn, my clutch, my brake pedal went down. Oh, sorry, I have no clutch in here. But, yeah, as you can see, man, that's actually more than I thought. Wait a minute. Yeah. Jeez. I don't have anything up there. That's probably why. Huh. Anyways. Um... But yeah, you'll basically do that and then you'll thread it on to the which oh you thread it on to the little hind joint that connects to the pedal, which is right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold holding, hold it. Which is right there. That's a retainer clip that you'll need. You order those off of Hawks because you need the same thing for the brake pedal as well. You can reuse the one that you have, but if you don't have a brake pedal with the the retainment the retaining clip, then you need to get those from Hawks. They're like six ninety five um, for one. They're six ninety five a piece, and but it's free shipping. But like I still think it's dumb how those things are like seven bucks, damn near. So yeah. And then you're gonna put that in that way you can adjust the clutch pedal on how far it sits back. Um, one thing I don't like about these Hawks pedals though is that on the bushing for the spring, like, let's see, all right, on that left side of the spring, there's a bushing, it'll right, right there, oh, right there, right here where my finger is, and that bushing, um lights to pop out when you're pressing the clutch in because there's a spring in it and the spring is basically put like the spring is doing this and it's pushing the the bushing out and like i think that's annoying that they didn't design around that because like it just pulls the bushing out which is dumb but yeah <clears throat> the next thing you have to do um of course like once you remove all your shifter and everything you need this. This comes off the side of your shifter. This is what you need. I have it labeled so I know where it's at. Um, the purple and yellow wire and I think it's like green and another wire are what you're going to wire in. Cut and wire in for your um, clutch neutral safety. Yeah. So, coming from the car, uh, this is the shifter from the Camaro. Ooh, stuck on my shirt. Here my hoodie. So right here, as you can see, there's gonna be little pins on the back. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I didn't know like. So these little pin holes right here, that's where that connector connects to. You need whatever that pigtail that plugs into here. You need those set of wires. Um, there's gonna be another connector that goes in right there. You don't need that. And there's gonna be another one on top of here. This one and this one, you don't need both of those. You need this one. This one, this one, this one. You need this pigtail. Do not cut this. Unplug this and keep it in the car. Do not, do not cut that. You need that. And you would need that for any automatic shifter, honestly. But yeah. Back to the car. You need that connector. Because your clutch neutral safety is right there right there on the car 
And basically what the cuts to neutral safety is, it makes sure the, the car cannot start without the clutch pedal being pushed in. Okay. And so we wire that in. I have to try to figure out how I'm going to wire that along with the Terminator X. I'll figure that out when I get to it. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And then these are all the pigtails and connectors you'll need for the that they give you for the brake pedal assembly they give you everything you need it's a kit i will link the kit down in the description along with the bolt that you need um because i know there's not a lot of good like detailed videos on this stuff for these cars like i decided to make this video i if i get another third gen i'll definitely go into depth on the um like the manual swap process because there's just not enough videos on manual swapping these cars. I don't know why everyone wants to keep them auto. Like, it's so boring. But, yeah. Right here. Um, this is the bolt that I need. I need it. Right here. So, this is... A... What size is this? Let me see if I got the receipt from when I bought it. Oh no. Yeah, no. I don't have the receipt. Okay, guys. I goofed. I don't have the receipt from when I bought the thing. Shoot. So, basically, this is the size that you would need. Um, let me see if I have the bolt from... And this is the bolt. Is it? Yep. This is the size that you would need. This is the bolt that comes out of the top. As you can see, as far as like the height difference, it's about, I want to say an inch or two in length, when this one was like about three to four inches. So this is a deep bolt. This is all you need, and maybe like two washers because the thread the tap thread and the underneath the dash does not go far that that uh, it does not go that far down so this is about all you need which is more than enough and about like two washers that's about it um so yeah you would go to your local ace hardware make sure you bring this top um bolt that connects to the top of the clutch pedal underneath there you ask them for this uh thread pitch and diameter but you want it about an inch in length so you want the sh on just about the shortest one they got i'm pretty sure they only have like i'm pretty sure that's the shortest they got um what else do you need what else do you need and i'm pretty sure that's about it like once i get the clutch neutral oh another thing about these hogs pedals so for the putting the clutch neutral safety and i got a haul on for this it's as you can see there's like holes for it that like slot all the way down i'll take a screenshot of there off the website but like those two holes it's supposed to go all the way down like that way when the clutch pedal goes down there's an arm underneath there as you can see it's right there it's moving that connect that pushes down on the clutch neutral safety and that basically is what activates it like it toggles it um yeah that thing does not want to go all the way down on it for some reason like you have to like force that thing to go down which it should not be like that it should be kind of snug but you should be able to go all the way down on those holes i cannot go all the way down on those holes um that's that's really about it with the clutch pedal complaint that i have with them from hogs they are nice pedals i'm not gonna lie i clearly need to adjust my clutch pedal um for the throw that way i have clutch and it just really um, reduces how much i gotta adjust next thing i'm buying for this car is the transmission that's why i've been holding off on videos i've just been editing what i have and uploading that um this is the template for the uh clutch pedal that i use um that i made this actually really helps a lot this one's the most accurate one um i will take a printout i will print this out on the computer that way or I scan it print it out on the computer put that in my description for anyone that wants to that that needs to use this on with the ticks performance 
master cylinder hole or any um, clutch master cylinder, this should probably work for you. Um, seeing how the holes are in the proper spacing and then the cutout for it, and you would just trim back whatever you don't need. Um, remember, um, don't trim a lot. Just make a big enough hole so that the rod can come through the hole along with the boot, but don't trim, don't make a big ass hole, like a stupid big hole, because you can always um, take away metal, but you can't add it back. So that's that's the process I have on that. Um, to get for the car is the master cylinder um, reservoir bracket that goes right there, but I'm gonna wait till I'm able to get the upgraded um, slave cylinder by Wheelwood. Uh, new lines from the proportioning valve. New proportioning valve. Um, I think that's really about it. Uh, windows work. I actually have to take out those ones on the other side and put in these new um, these new little washer thingies for the windows that go in there. So GM does not make these anymore for the third gen Camaros. So the only place you can get it is LMR, which strictly um, works on Mustangs. And yeah, I know what you're saying. It's Mustang, it's Ford. But their Fox Body Camaros, that was made in like the 80s and very early 90s, like 91, 92, and I think 93. Um, they run the same type of washer for the windows. They still make them. Ford still makes them for their cars. Um, for some of their older cars, these are still in production, and LMR makes them. But you only get two of these things, plus a washer, and or plus a bolt. Or no, you get a rivet. And I think it's either you get you get a rivet and one of these washers from um, Ford for like I think it's like six bucks or whatever. And then from LMR, you get this for like eleven. 12 bucks but you only get two of these and i think like a washer when in reality you need three you need the two that connect the window in the bracket and then you need the one for the end stop and you can use a rivet i was going to use a rivet but the rivet is how i fucked it up and if you need to take out the glass like you gotta drill that rivet out so you might as well just use a lot nylon lock nut i didn't use nylon and you take the bolt and you put it in that that's about it you don't there's nothing wrong with the bolts like everyone uses the bolt like there's nothing wrong with using the bolt it actually makes more sense using the bolt um yeah that's just me going in a tangent with this thing uh i think i'm pretty sure that's really about it as far as everything goes um i really have nothing else that for this and then, oh yeah I need to cut out I need to cut out the hole for the shifter and I need to cover up that hole where the um the wire for the uh automatic came through that's the next thing I have to do on this but I'm gonna wait on summer to do anything on this car now it's strictly engine work and getting the transmission because it's way too cold out here to be working on this freaking car and yeah that's really about it as far as like what I'm doing with this car, what's done to it. Um, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around, seeing like what I have done to the car, what I have left to do. Um, do be expecting more videos to drop. I'm editing right now. Um, oh yeah, happy new year, guys. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Again, uh, peace.